Scottish Labour conference in Dundee, the Prime Minister has warned that independence would severely weaken Scotland's economy. He said only UK strength had rescued Scotland's banks. This from our political editor, Brian Taylor. Gordon Brown knows his duty. His job, he said, after touring a Dundee tyre factory, was to save jobs across Britain threatened by the recession. Meeting apprentices, the Prime Minister picked up a few tips. Just bring it down here. Oh, you just bring it down and up. That's the way you do it, is it? Just, just like that. In his conference speech, Mr. Brown offered a subtle echo of one of his illustrious predecessors. We have acted because action this day is our responsibility. Action this day was Winston Churchill's wartime edict. Much earlier, Churchill had addressed audiences in this very hall as MP for Dundee. To combat economic crisis, Gordon Brown urged global action on banking bonuses and tax havens. And we will do whatever it takes because we believe that markets need not just money men, but markets need morals. That being fair matters more than being for laissez fair. And that banks must always serve the public and not just themselves. Scotland's banks, he said, have been rescued by UK financial strength, a counterweight to the SNP. We gave guarantees that no country the size of Scotland could ever have been able to give. And that's what is the truth, that Scotland does better when part of the United Kingdom and not outside it. They liked that, but also in the audience, a silent protest against part privatization of the Royal Mail. Earlier at the conference, that found a voice. I have a message for Lord Mandelson. Sorry, Peter. A 30% privatisation of Royal Mail does not maintain our manifesto commitment to a publicly owned Royal Mail. The mail is not for sale. More history. Gordon Brown announced he'll hold a UK cabinet meeting in Scotland. The first time that's happened since 1921, when Lloyd George's cabinet convened in Inverness. Dundee MP Winston Churchill was there as colonial secretary. From the past to the future, Gordon Brown also referred to the Kalman Commission that's looking at devolved powers. He said that if they came up with good ideas that would benefit Scotland and strengthen the Union, then he would act. Earlier I spoke to Ian Gray in a webcast interview. Mr Gray gave some hint as to what those powers could be. He talked about he favoured borrowing powers for the Scottish Parliament with perhaps, perhaps enhanced tax powers in order to provide a revenue stream to fund that borrowing. Brian Taylor in Dundee, thank you very much.